Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Something I forget is that we have new players hopping in all the time. They're playing Red Dead Story or Red Dead Online for the first time. There's a lot of questions out there. A recurring one I keep seeing in a lot of the Red Dead groups I'm in right now is where do I find a panther? How do I get it to spawn? And how do I keep it a three star? So that's what we're going to cover today. Let's get into it. So the first thing that you're going to do is come to this spot that I've marked on the map. This is my absolute favorite spot for Panthers. There are other spawns on the map, of course. There are two in Lagra. There's a more rare one in Stillwater. But this is my favorite and most reliable. And I should mention that this spawn works amazing in story. You can get it to work in online, but you have to think about the fact that there's a lot of players in there. So it depends on what's going on in the server. If there's a lot of events going on, if a player was already there and already got the Panther to spawn and got the Panther. So it's a little less reliable in online. You might have to switch lobbies several times, but the it basically works the same way. But this is what I do for story. You're going to come right by the set of rocks right by the intersection and you're going to drop down some predator bait. Now, my preference is potent predator bait. I feel like the panther spawns faster with it, but I was getting it to spawn just fine with the predator bait today. I've also heard people say that dropping a dead deer here works just as well. I have not actually tried that, though, so I am going to try it in the future and I'll let you guys know. But as of right now, predator bait, I think, just works Perfect. So you're going to drop it down by these rocks and then you're going to move back a little bit of distance so that you can kind of get a field of view. The panther pretty much comes down the same way every time from the left hand side. I like to use my binoculars so I can see more of what's going on rather than looking down a scoped rifle. But you can also look down a scoped rifle too until you see the panther coming in. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just moving my binoculars around a little bit here, and very quickly a panther spawns in on the left-hand side, and it's moving down toward that predator bait. You're going to get two different types of panthers that will spawn in. A regular panther that just says panther, and one that says Florida panther. And for the compendium, this is good because you need to find both of them, and if you're using the binoculars, you can study and track them. Then this is going to help you make do other goals besides just getting the three-star. As far as the purposes of getting the three-star panther, it doesn't matter which one it is as long as the pelt quality is three star and it stays three stars. So that brings me to a few tips on what weapons to use in order to preserve that three star pelt. And so I think one of the best ways when you're going after the big cats is to use a bow and arrow with a poison arrow. You still need to get the headshot on it. So you do want it to be kind of heading towards you. But as long as you get the headshot, even if the panther or cougar, for example, doesn't die right away, the poison is going to cause it to drop down. You can do a mercy kill and then you'll still get that three star pelt. In this first video, I do use the bow and arrow with a poison arrow. I do get the kill immediately. So the poison didn't really matter. Um, it's not the cleanest kill. Um, panthers are a little bit trickier. I think cougars chasing you are a little bit easier to use that bone arrow with the poison arrow, um, but it does work here and that is what I normally recommend. Okay, so another way to get that three-star panther is to use your scoped weapon such as a Carcano or a rolling block rifle and that's what I'm doing in this second clip here. The advantage of this is a very powerful weapon. You can kill the animal in one shot. And as long as you're far enough back that you're tracking the animal, it's still moving slowly toward that bait, you're gonna be able to kind of track and get that headshot pretty easily. Now, you do have to be comfortable using a scope weapon. It is free aim, so there's no lock on. Um, you can still use Deadeye, but again, it's not. It's, you're not really gonna be painting the target, so I don't recommend that but it is a really good way to, again, preserve that three-star pelt quality. Tip number two, if you have done all of these steps and the panther is not spawning and you even try to reload a save and it's still not spawning, likely there could be an event going on in the area that's preventing it. If you're pretty early on in the story, there is an event that happens in these woods very early on and you really need to clear that out first. I believe it is the two guys with the moonshine, which is what normally spawns for me, and it, they're right in the area that that panther spawns. So if there is any event going on at all, you are going to have a difficult time getting that panther to spawn. So clear it out and then come like sleep a little bit, come back and try again. Okay, so as this clip playing shows, sometimes things are just gonna go wrong. You're gonna miss your shot, you're gonna lose sight of the panther. In this instance, an NPC sets it off. I lose track of where it is because the weather's not clear and it ends up circling around behind me, catches me totally off guard. That's why I sit there on the autosave screen for a minute because I'm just laughing hysterically. And of course, then once I get out of it, I'm trying to pull a weapon out, but because I have my binoculars out, I keep eating food instead. So anyway, I ended up dying. 
But that is why that save file is super helpful. Another thing also that can be helpful is if you're sitting on your horse, your horse is gonna let you know when a predator is nearby. So that can also be helpful if you're just having trouble tracking the panther or where it is. Keep in mind though, if that panther does come charging, your horse is probably going to buck you, depending on your horse, and which case it might be harder to get that headshot to get that three-star pelt. Gotcha. If you've been struggling to get a three-star panther, I hope you found this video super helpful. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you leave a like. And if you are a seasoned Red Dead player and you have any tips that I did not mention, I'd love if you leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.